Right now, a countdown to launch time at Cape Canaveral. Uh, it is the most, uh, the newest and most advanced weather satellite to date. Chief Meteorologist Steve Wiggles live at the Cape to tell us all about it. Fill us in, Steve. Uh, Shannon, just uh, uh, amazing, and of course I have the uh, iconic uh, assembly building in the background here at uh, Cape Canaveral. There's going to be a big launch tomorrow, this new weather satellite. Uh, the window for the launch opens at 5.42 p.m. Saturday. It's been delayed a couple of times. We were actually hoping that it would happen during the week, but meteorologists from around the country have been invited here this week to cover the launch to learn more about this satellite and what it can do for South Florida and forecasting our weather, hurricanes, tornadoes, and any kind of severe weather. Uh, we had a chance today to watch the rollout uh, from the assembly plant uh, down to the launch pad. That uh, happened earlier this morning. And then eventually uh, it made it to the launch pad where it sits tonight and it will be there until 542 tomorrow afternoon and everyone in South Florida should be able to see this launch. Uh, of course, head to the beach if you want uh, to see some great viewing. We had a chance earlier to talk to uh, a NOAA scientist about how this will improve forecasting in the future. Recently, Hurricane Matthew came along the Florida coast. So this is one of the satellites, you know, for many years we've used geostationary satellites to monitor hurricanes as they approach the coast. We'll be able to do that even better. To better inform, is a storm intensifying as it gets to the coast or is it decaying? Where are the most uh, intense bands? So Shannon, it's one of those situations where, say for Matthew, for example, where we saw that little wobble or actually a couple of wobbles through the Bahamas and then eventually over Grand Bahama. We'll get that information within a minute, whereas in the past, some of that information didn't come in for almost uh, 15 or 20 minutes. So the, it's a huge leap in weather forecasting and forecasting severe weather. And obviously in South Florida, that's a big, big part in what we do during the year. Uh, coming up at five, there's a local company that has a huge huge uh, connection to this satellite launch. We're going to uh, talk to them. Uh, an amazing story. I watched it uh, earlier and of course we had a chance to interview some of the scientists. You won't want to miss that. It's coming up at five. Very exciting coverage. Looking forward to all of it. Steve Wiggle on the Cape for us. You look fabulous up there, my friend. Thank you. Coming up next here on the now heroin